Janik joined the Cinecom team and he really likes to eat peppers, but I believe that this pepper right here was a bit too hot for him. So let's have a look in Premiere Pro on how to create this awesome spicy face expression look. What's up guys, Jordi here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the channel that is all about being creative with Premiere Pro and basic film equipment. Today we're going to take a look at how to create masks, we're going to animate color and of course create this awesome smoke effect. So let's get started with that and create that spicy face expression look. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a new sequence and I'm just going to take a 25p Full HD sequence right here in that spicy expression okay and right here i've got a clip of janik he's uh, eating that pepper and the only thing he does is just taking up that pepper takes a bite from it and of course he's making that silly expression but in a couple of minutes it won't look that silly anymore because we're going to give a meaning to it a spicy expression the first thing that we're going to do is create that mask around his face and animate it so that his head will glow up as he's eating that pepper. But you want to do that at the correct point. So look at the point where you want to start that animation. So that's going to be somewhere right here, right before he's going to make that silly expression. And as we are going to create a mask, which means we're going to cut out his face, we are first going to duplicate that clip. And you can do so by holding down the Alt key and then dragging that clip to the layer above, like that. And that will make a duplication of that one. Next, I'm just going to shorten that clip to the play hat, select that clip and head over to effects controls. And in the opacity option right here, we're going to create that mask. And you can use this pen tool right here to create that mask. Click on it, make sure that that top clip is selected and then just draw some lines around his face. Now this doesn't have to be that perfect, of course, just go roughly around his face, something like this, don't get the hair. And Janik has a lot of them, there we go. And once that is done, we can start tracking that mask. Make sure that mask one here is selected in the opacity and then just click on the play button over here. But make sure that your mouse is constantly on the stop button here as well because if the tracking goes wrong, we do have to stop that and adjust where needed. But everything is looking pretty okay. It's not that perfect as you can see, but uh, it can be very rough. So don't worry too much about that. So once that is done, you can now see if I'm going to disable the layer below that we only have uh, Janik's face here selected. Looking perfect. So let's start with that color correction now. I'm going to select that uh, layer on top again and uh, just make that red. And the simplest way to do that is just by playing with the temperature and tint. So I'm going to make this a lot warmer in the first place. And next I'm going to add some magenta to it and that will make it kind of reddish as I'm also pushing up the temperature a lot. So I just play with these two values that will make it look pretty spicy. Now, because we're changing the temperature, also the exposure here will increase a little bit. So you might wanna play with that as well. I'm going to decrease the exposure just a tiny bit, not too much, perhaps play with the contrast. You know, you can basically do anything you'd like in here to create a certain look that you like. You can also go to a greenish site if perhaps uh, your actor is eating something wrong and he has to go and throw up, then you can add a green look to him. That would be a throw up expression instead of a spicy expression perhaps increase the saturation, you know, this is up to you. And once you set everything here in Lumetri, we're going to go back to the beginning of that clip here on top. And in your effects controls, we're going to scroll down right here, Lumetri color, and we're going to locate all of the parameters that we've just changed. So inside the basic correction, that'll be the uh, temperature, and I'm going to create a keyframe for that, the tint as well, the exposure, we've also set that, the contrast nut, I believe, the saturation, which is somewhere right here, and that's it. And once we've created all of these keyframes, we're going to select all of them and just move them a bit more to the right. Because these are the ending values, we're going to start by having no color correction on it so that we can animate these colors and transition into that spicy expression. Now, in order to have everything back at the default in the beginning, just reset the whole Lumetri color and that will just create these default keyframes as you can see. And if I'm going to play this right now, you can see that the uh, reddish color is coming beautifully in as Janik is uh, making that silly move. Now there's one last thing that we have to do with this mask, of course, and that is the feather. Because as you can see, it really looks dumb right now. There's a pretty hard line and if we would have masked out everything very specific, we could have kept it like this, but we didn't. We went very roughly on the mask, so we also have to feather this a lot. 
Scroll back up and here in the mask options, you will see a feather and also an expansion option. Just play with these two until it kind of matches the whole face. So I'm going to feather this a bit more like that. Perhaps it's too much now, it's coming a bit in the wall. So I'm going to decrease the mask expansion. Just play a little bit with this. I believe that this kind of looks good. So let's play this and see how it looks. Isn't that awesome? The next step will be the smoke, but before we're going to dive into that, let's first thank the sponsor of this video. This video tutorial shows you one example on how to use overlaid elements like smoke, but there are so much more uses and all the elements can be found on video blocks. There are tons of smoke clips, light leaks, old film looks and more. Simply put them on top of your videos and try out different blend modes from the opacity option. Head over to videoblogs.com for more information, also a link can be found in the description below. Welcome back folks and let's continue now with adding that smoke to this video. Right here in my project library, we can find a clip called Smoke. This is also something I got from Videoblocks, but you can basically find them anywhere on the internet you like. There are many packs, paid and free ones as well. But basically what you want to have is some kind of a smoke that comes out from the sides. You can always rotate that, of course, so if it's coming down from below, that is no problem, of course. Just make sure that it has a black background, because we're going to need that in order to blend it with the clip, so that we don't see that uh, the smoke is actually coming from a clip that it's coming from his ears. So I'm going to drag this clip here on top of Janik. Now it's going pretty slow, but it actually has a steam, so that's why I'm going to make this clip go a bit faster. Just take the Rate Stretch tool here from your toolbox, there we go, and take the outsides and just stretch that smaller, or actually just faster in duration. This looks a lot better, perhaps even a bit faster. Perfect. Take back your arrow tool, and with this clip selected, head over to the effects controls, then right here in the opacity, I'm going to set the blending mode to screen. But of course, you can also play with the blend mode if you think that, for example, the color dodge looks a lot better, then, then please go for that, or perhaps something else. We also get the linear dodge, the add right here. Then go ahead and do that. There are no real rules. Just make sure that the blending kind of looks realistic with the environment you have over here. I'm just gonna go for screen as for inside, and I don't like to blow up those uh, highlights from the smoke that much. So let's find a good spot now, at which point that the smoke has to come out somewhere right here. Looks pretty cool, so I'm just going to drag that to that point, and we're going to start from the beginning, somewhere right here. Head over to your motion and the effects controls, make sure to select that, so that we can drag that clip around, and I'm going to align it with his ears. Now one problem that we are running into is that we are seeing the edges of this clip. Right here you can see that the smoke is kind of going outside the clip, but that doesn't really look so uh, realistic in this shot. The same thing for the blending, didn't work that well because there's some other smoke here around. So we're also going to mask this clip too. I'm going to drag this back somewhere to the middle so that we can see this clip fully exposed. And I'm going to head over to the opacity, create a new mask by clicking on this pen tool and just start drawing a very rough mask around that smoke. Something like this, you wanna cut out a big piece and again, what we're gonna do is feather this whole thing. And now you won't really notice it that much when it's going outside the boundaries. And drag that clip to the correct position somewhere right here. You can also play with the scale, of course, if it's too big. It really depends on which kind of smoke effect you have. But let's take a look now, it's looking awesome. Now with Adobe After Effects, we do have an option to track this smoke that it will follow his ears. We don't have that in Premiere, so we kind of have to sheet a little bit. If your subject is not moving that much, it might already look from the beginning, like it also does here in this example. But if you believe that it should follow, you can play with the position, of course. Just select that clip, head over to position, create a keyframe for it, move a bit forward, and as Janik here is moving a bit down, Let's just take that motion again and position it back to his ears. You know, we'll kind of follow this path right here. As you can see, we've got two keyframes. So as I'm playing this now again, it should follow a bit more with his ears, but it won't be as perfect as we would do this with After Effects, of course. All right, so we've got one ear now, and of course, it's pretty easy to create the other one. Just select that clip, hold down the Alt key, duplicate that clip, select the duplication, and go to the rotation option, just rotate that. There we go. Click on motion and just drag that clip to his other ear. Perhaps play with the rotation a bit more now. Now do make sure that the keyframes of the position are deleted. And if you like, you can create new keyframes. So from the beginning, somewhere right here, just put that a bit better next to his ears. Create a keyframe for the position to track that a bit more with his ears. Move that a little bit up 
like that. Looking awesome. And Mr. Spice is already looking good, but there's one last thing that we want to do, and that is attract a lot more attention to his face. And you can do that by adding a vignette in the corners so that the attention will go to the middle of the shot where his face expression is. That will make it even more dramatic, so let's do that. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer right here. Press OK and drag that on top of everything. Select that adjustment layer in your Lumetri controls. Go to Vignette and over here we're going to increase the amount. And you can also play with the midpoint, the feather, the feather, the roundness, anything you like to make sure that enough attention is drawn towards Mr. Spice right here. Something like this. Now also this has to be animated, so go to the beginning of where the animations should start somewhere. Make sure that the adjustment layer is selected and for new options here in the effects controls, we're going to open up vignettes and create keyframes for the parameters that we've changed. Create those keyframes, move them a bit forward in time and also again now reset Lumetri color to create the default keyframes. And now it will animate to that vignetting as well. Now, if you like, so with the adjustment layer here on top, you can also use the basic color correction. So just add a general color correction to the whole thing just to have a global color correction. And this is how to create a Mr. Spice look inside Premiere Pro. Now, if you'd like to download this project file, that is also possible by just clicking here on this download button. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget, stay creative.